had. Your reporter, Karen Morfitt, is live now with the legacy that one buff is leaving behind. Karen? Well, Michael, if you've been a CU football fan through it all, then you likely know this story. Salinasi was the team's quarterback in the 80s. He got them fired up again. He got them winning again. He was someone that everyone thought would lead them to a national championship. In a way, he did do that, and he's still being remembered for that role. Salinasi's story is both inspiring and heartbreaking. One that lives on inside the CU locker room. The tears that came, because the emotions, but they're actually they're, they're tears of joy. The Samoan quarterback was a star at every age, but the leader CU football needed in 1987. Jeff Campbell and JJ Flanagan played alongside Onesi during that time. Our focus with him was we're going to get to this national championship. They had no way of knowing what would come next. When Sal first found out and how severe that the illness that he had was, I never saw Sal for one second feel sorry for himself. In March of 1989, Onasi was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive stomach cancer. He was given six months to live. He had already had his first session of chemotherapy and you see the smile? It didn't deter his smile. Onasi died in September. The team dedicated their season to him beating Nebraska that year to go to the Orange Bowl. That game, the last time his family was in the stands. We promised Sal that we would come out. If he was playing, we're gonna make it to the uh, Nebraska game. So we fulfilled his our promise to him. 34 years later, they're back, getting their first look at his forever locker and set to attend a special showing of the documentary film, Born to Lead, the Sal Anassi story, directed by Laura Silv. Through that whole situation in 1989, they learned about winning, what it takes to win, becoming one, playing something bigger than yourself. Sal Onassi pushes ahead. A film she says is about more than football. I learned about this brotherhood that they had developed and uh, it was extraordinary. It still is to this day. We oh, talk at least, <laughs> at least two or three times a month. He's like, oh, you know, yeah. we just get caught up on everything. A brotherhood that Sal Anassi and his family are still very much a part of. They Colorado is our family. It's such an inspirational story. The team did lose to Notre Dame that year in the Orange Bowl, the year that Sal Anassi died. They would come back, though, in 1990. I'm sure everyone knows this story and win that national championship. Karen and Michael. They are keeping his legacy alive in that locker room, a very, very important thing for this program to continue doing. And then his family loves Colorado yeah. because Colorado loves all of them. That so says so much. It is. It's beautiful.